What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error message. For example, if you're trying to run or install some kind of program and you're getting this error message stating the following components are required to run this program and it requires you to install Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 runtime. Doesn't matter what program you're running, if it requires this runtime, you'll have to install for this program properly to work or you'll have to reinstall if you have one installed already. Maybe you installed a while back and it's not just updated. So here's what you need to do. Open your internet browser and go to this website and I'll put link in the description below. And right here, select your language and then press on download. Then you'll be presented with this screen. Right here, you need to choose either 64-bit operation system or 86. And 86 is actually stands for 32. And if you don't know what kind of version you have running on your computer, here's what you need to do. Press on start and then press on this little gear where it says settings. This window is going to appear. Press on system and then click on about. And then right here, it says system type 64-bit operation system. And if you have 32, then you'll have to download this 86 one. So put a check mark next to the one that you need. I'll do 64 because that's what I have. And then I'm going to press next. And that's it. It took me to the download page and it's just downloaded right now. So what you can do, you can minimize this page and go to your file explorer and navigate to your downloads. And then in here, double click on your executable, the one we just downloaded. Then this window is going to appear. Place check mark next to I agree license terms and conditions. You can read them through and then press on install. Then this window is going to appear. Press yes. It's going to make changes to your computer. Setup is successful and that's it. Now we can close. And I would recommend reboot your computer and try to rerun your application. And this should fix that following component are required to run this program. And this is pretty much it. If this video is helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.